The desert, vast, dry, lifeless. But what if it didn't have to be? Imagine turning Earth's driest, most desolate places into lush green forests, fertile farmland, or even entire cities filled with life. Could we take ocean water, seemingly endless, and pump it into deserts to bring them back to life? Let's dive into the science behind this dream. And see what would really happen. First, why would we want to do this? Well, deserts cover about one-third of Earth's land surface. That's a lot of wasted space when it comes to growing food, creating habitats, or cooling down our planet. And on the other side. We have the oceans. They cover 71% of Earth, holding more than 97% of all water on the planet, so the question seems obvious. Why not use some of that salty water to fix the dry lands? Here's the catch, ocean water is salty. And if you dump salt water directly into the desert, you're not creating a garden, you're making the soil even worse. So step 1, desalination. That's the process of removing salt from seawater. It sounds simple, but it's extremely energy intensive. It takes huge amounts of power to desalinate water on a large scale, the kind of scale we'd need to green entire deserts. Currently, countries like Saudi Arabia and Israel are already using desalinated water to support cities and farms in dry areas. It works. But it's expensive and only possible in places with a lot of money and access to the ocean. Technology can give us solutions. But every solution comes with a cost. Now, let's imagine we've cracked the cost. We have clean, desalinated water ready to go. How do we get it to the deserts? We'd need to build massive pipelines, potentially thousands of kilometers long, from coastlines to deep interior deserts like the Sahara, the Australian outback, or Central Asia. Building and maintaining such infrastructure would be a global effort, requiring cooperation, funding, and years of construction, but what would we get in return? Deserts have plenty of sunlight, which plants love. With water and some soil enrichment, deserts could be turned into massive green zones, forests, farms, even new cities could be born. The impact, more food for a growing population, carbon capture from new forests, cooling the planet by replacing hot, bare land with green, living systems. In theory, we could reverse climate change one desert at a time. Where there is water, there is life. But here's the deeper question, should we? Flooding deserts with water might sound good, but deserts are ecosystems too, they host unique wildlife adapted to extreme heat, altering them could destroy native species and collapse existing food chains. Also, what happens to all the brine, the salty byproduct of desalination? If dumped back into the ocean, it could harm marine life and disrupt ecosystems. So, the idea that sounds like a dream could quickly become a double-edged sword. Sometimes, fixing one problem creates three more we didn't expect. So, what if we pumped ocean water into deserts? Technically, it's possible. In some places, it's already being done, in small, controlled ways. But to do it on a global scale? We'd need revolutionary clean energy, global cooperation, and eco-smart planning to avoid creating new disasters. Still, the dream of greening the deserts pushes us to think big, about technology, nature, and the power we have to reshape our planet. It's not just about what we can do, it's about what we should do. See you next time.